All right, let's try this take two. Let's see if we can get this um, get this going. This is better this time, I think. I can only see myself once. I'm going to go back and delete that other one because it was bad. Come on in. Hopefully, we'll, everyone will find me again. Say hi. Tech is just what tech is. You know, it just, the, the, it had like two of me. StreamYard had two of me in there. Okay, Brenda found me again. Good. Okay, hey again. All right, here we go. <laughs> so we are going to decoupage and upcycle some stuff to use on our tier trays. Um, I've been thinking about this for a while and I just, I, I've been collecting things to show you guys because, you know, I'm all about taking, like being thrifty, finding fun stuff that we can reuse in new ways. Um, a lot of you guys liked my mini vases that I used several months ago on my tray. Like they're not always available. You can't always find them. So I was like, how can we make mini trays, mini vases from home? What, what does everyone have that they can grab and make some mini vases with? And so I'm going to show you some of those ideas tonight, but come on in and say hi. Um, how many of y'all saw um, the let freedom ring sign that I posted? I just, I just got it finished. In fact, um, Deanna asked me, she's like, when's, when's coffee in the crafting, which I've got to rename it if it's Friday night, because I hope y'all are not drinking coffee, but um, I was like, soon, soon, but I just got the door hanger done. Anyways, I never craft for me anymore. I almost never make anything just because I want it. And so thank you for hanging out with me Wednesday and doing that. Um, like it was so much fun and it's hanging on my front door and I am so, so excited. I am so excited that I got it. So I guess it's just what I preach all the time that um, you have to stop and take time for you. But when this kind of turned from a hobby into doing this, you know, to help other people, I stopped doing it for me. And then um, when we've been talking about the pool and I'm decorating for the pool and I've been like, oh, you guys, like, I just, I don't know. And you guys have all encouraged me to, to like look at things and do this and do Pinterest sports. So I was like, you know what I really love is... Um, upcycling, recycling, antiques. And so I've started getting like, I checked out all these great books from um, the library. And I'm going to start looking around for fun things that are they're really what I love, you know? So anyway, um, Amy, well, you're on the West Coast. So let's say hi to everybody and then let's get started. Um, Brenda found me. Yay, Brenda. Hey, Tammy. Hey, Janet. Hey, Kim, Amy, Amy P.H., Perry Humphreys. Hey, Dana. Dana says she loves my shirt. So this says God wastes nothing. And let me show you my earrings. They they go with it. So this is like a dandelion. And um, the earrings match the tea. And um, they go with, do you see? You see, it has resin, super lightweight, and it has little dandelion seeds in it. And this came from my friend Tara. Um, she's a new consider the she's consider the fields boutique, but she's a t-shirt and earring subscription. And um, I love her stuff. It's always fun and unique, and it's inspirational. Let me drop it. I am not affiliated, and and like um, I'm not an affiliate with her, but. She's one of my besties. And if you go, here's a new consider the field. Um, get, um, and then here you get $5 off a subscription. Subscription. Oh my gosh. With, I should have. Okay, so I dropped that in there. Um, so anyway, I just put it in there if anyone's interested. She just has um, really great inspirational stuff. I wear it on my hard days, and I just love that that reminder. Hey, Juanita. Thank you, thank you. You guys are saying the door hanger look great. It is, it is super cute. I love how it turned out. Hi, Sandy. Thank you, thank you for the sprinkles. Thank you, Dana, for the sprinkles. Hey, Sarah. 
Tammy says, yes, finally, like the smoke's gone in Ohio and um, at least in our area. It is gorgeous. We've been in and out of the pool. The kids have all day. Joe and I got in for a hot minute, but we've been working all day. Hey, Denise V. Uh, hey, Tammy. All right, ladies. Thank you for the sprinkles. The jar drawing is tomorrow. I'll grab your names in the jar in a little bit, and we are going to get started. So these are um, spice jars. Good question. Juanita wants to know about the pool. No. Um, so we, our pool is um, like a fiberglass liner style pool. They don't do a, a whole lot of gunite up in Ohio. I mean, they do gunite or like concrete. The problem with that is the freeze and thaw cycle. Um, it cracks. And so we did the, in Texas, they did a ton of gunite, but um, up here they don't so much because it, there's so much maintenance with it. And so ours got dropped in and filled right away, but like we don't have, and it's like the jets are working, but we don't have the heat yet. And we don't have some other stuff and we don't have the concrete down. So it's not really a full functional pool. We have a pool liner in the ground filled with water. Um, this is just, um, when people, God, Facebook doesn't like you to say it, but like when you let other people know, like you hit the little arrow button and tell someone else like into a crafting group or on your page. Um, yeah. Hey, Kim. So yeah, they don't like you to say that. So sprinkle, I heard someone else sp spread the joy. Yes, the water's cold, but it felt pretty good today. So we're going to take these. These are spice jars. And um, I'm going to grab some sp the sprinkles while I'm um, while these are drying. But we're just going to paint them and then we're going to decoupage them. And we're going to use them in our trays. And I have something in mind of two different napkins. Um, this one, the print is really big. But I think it's going to look really cute on this. Hold on. On this square. Well, I got the wrong thing here this big chunky you see that i think that'll look really cute and then this napkin do you guys i love the colors in here so i love the colors in this napkin we um painted the boys room a color it's agreeable gray and um I was looking through Pinterest the other night to find like, okay, we really like this color. Where else can we put it in our house and what can we put with it? And a lot of the mood boards that came up had the agreeable gray with these really great earthy tones. And our house has a warm feel to it just because we have a ton of natural woodworking in it. And these would all look great with that color. So um, we're going to use this on one of them. Um, and so... And I love the colors. I just, this will, these colors will go with the tray and the JCC next month. Not, I do not go buy all of these colors, but this will look great with it. I'm just saying. Um, our pool will be heated. We just don't have any electric yet. So what is running is plugged into the house. And yeah, it will be heated. So yeah, I know. I only had... So yeah, this is really pretty. So if you've never done this before, I've got some other stuff. I've got like ribbon. I've got the plastic wrap, chalk paint. I've got my glue gun. I've got my, my decoupage medium. But the first thing you, I want to do is paint the jar um, so that it doesn't show through like the glass. So these are just spice jars. What I had to do to get the um, the paint off is, um, or the sticker off is I had to like scrape it off with a razor blade and then I put um, Goo Gone on it, that spray Goo Gone. And I just scrubbed that pretty good to get the um, paint off. And then you can't do this with just acrylic um paint because it doesn't cover the glass well enough and you want to you don't have to cover it super solid but you want it to cover the glass well enough so that um 
so it doesn't um, show. And just plain acrylic paint won't cover the glass. Why? I've not turned on my overhead camera. I'm like sitting here working and I'm like, why can't I see what I'm doing on the screen? And I was like, oh, wait, hold on, y'all. I'm going to do this. Okay. Oh, Juanita just gave a great tip. She said, if anyone is a Young Living member, um, that lemon oil is great to get the sticky stuff off. And that is true. Okay. I know. And you guys did some, I think it was Gail who said, you know what? You, you've only been crafting wood cutouts. And I thought, yeah, I know. You're right. Let me craft something different um, that goes with tear trays. And you guys, seriously, you could even take... I mean, I've got glass. Um, if you do plastic, because I, this won't tip over if I put something kind of top heavy in it. But if you do plastic, my suggestion would be to um, maybe put something heavy in the bottom. You know, I'm going to do this just because. Just so that, but you could even do a bunch of these and like set them on a tray on your counter. You can use them as part of a centerpiece. I mean, there's just so many ways you can use them. And I think, I think like rethinking, right? What we do with stuff after we get so much trash and packaging, right? Like Kim, Kim D she's here. She was saying the other day on that reel that I posted about all that stuff I got from the container store. Um, she was saying, like, you even break down the boxes. I'm like, well, where do y'all think I get all that cardboard that I wrap, <laughs> wrap your stuff in? Like, the, really, the only thing I ship in a box is the Joyful Crafting Club. And the rest of it, I cut the stuff. I wrap it in, like, two pieces of cardboard. And then I ship it in um, poly mailers. And so I reuse all of that. I do sometimes wish someone else would come and cut the cardboard. So... Um, hey, Lisa, this is chalk paint. It's specifically Hello Hobby chalk paint from Walmart. It's a Walmart brand, but it's chalk paint. So you either want, for something like this, you either want chalk paint or multi-purpose acrylic paint. Because... Well, just because you do. Because the acrylic paint won't, the plain acrylic paint won't stick. So it's a little more, let me show you. See like multi-surface, you see how it says multi-surface. This will stick to glass and stuff, but the, the regular acrylic paint will just streak really bad and it won't stick well. So, and it doesn't have to perfectly cover. You're just trying to, to give the napkin a background. Because if not, it's going to change color, but when you put it on here. So, yeah, I, I love the colors in this napkin. I told Joe, like, these are the colors I want to put in our house. So, it's just relaxing. I don't know if I should do this or not, but I'm going to. Okay, and I'm just using a makeup sponge. Yeah, it is exciting about the pool. We just need to, I need, we need them to finish. But they said, um, I mean, I don't know. You'd think they'd be in a finish to hurry because they don't get all their money until they hurry. That's my personal opinion. But I don't know why it takes so long. Like, you think that they would bust tail to get to inspections, y'all, right? Like, so that they can pour the concrete concrete set do the rest of it get their money and get out right that would be my thing because whenever you're on a job and i know because we have a construction company the longer that it runs the more it costs you that's just what my opinion let me grab some names while these are drying and then if i need to i'll hit the um i will hit the uh what is that thing called you guys know what it's called. It, it's hot and it dries things. The heat gun. Okay. Oh, hey, Jen. Hey, 
girl. Jen and I are going to be crafting, I think, next weekend. I mean, we are crafting next weekend, but I don't know the date or the time. I can't remember what we said. The eighth or I don't know. She I, I don't it's been a it's been a long day. Yes. So, um yeah, you know what? I think that the colors are really darn similar. Um, I think they're super similar. The eighth. We are crafting on the eighth. Mark your calendars. Um, hey Patty C, your name's showing up, my friend. Um yeah, let me go back and grab these. Um, so, yeah, we're going to craft on the 8th. And I don't know what we're doing yet. In typical Amy and Jen style. It is going to be fabulous. It is going to be fabulous. Y'all remember this month I'm we're gifting away the um the two gumball machines and a garden flag. And it is going to be so much fun. I saved lots of that dollar or that paper that stays okay. All of those plastic boxes, the plastic storage containers that I got, which by the way, the ones with the, I didn't show them up close, but some of them are perfect to store like my cut products. Joe and I are reworking the whole space. I'm going to show you guys when it's all done, but it is going to look awesome because, and it's taken, okay, Joe has, I'm just getting the sprinkles and then we'll keep going. Dana T, but he sat on the floor uh, three or four weeks ago, he sat on the floor with a notebook and talked through all of the different um, ways that we could run. And we talked about like what we need and how to make it flow better. I mean, what we need to order. I mean, it was awesome. It was awesome. Awesome. And so we got our, and then we finally realized we need another, um, another shipping printer. So because we're just kind of tripping over ourselves right now. I mean, we've kind of run out of space. And so we're reworking this whole space in the back. Kim D. So, um, we were a couple other things we realized we need to order today. And then we are going to be cooking with gas back here. And it is going to, we have a flow and everything. We're getting a flow and everything. Anita says she likes uh, the idea tonight. Will it be an evening craft? Yes, it will be an evening craft. I don't know. Jen. Thank you, Mary Beth. Will it be an evening craft, Jen? I'm thinking yes, right? We typically like to craft once the kids go to bed. Okay, I'm going to hit this with the, the heat gun. I just messed that up. Yeah. So, guys, we're making jars to, to use on our tier trays. But, yeah, we're going to – it's going to be evening. Yeah, we're thinking evening. Okay. It's just easier. And I think – is that a Friday or – it's got to be a Saturday. Tuesday's the 4, 5, 6, 7. Saturday's the 8th. It'll be the 8th. Yeah, save your spice jars, guys. Yeah, this this isn't. I don't have it on like super hot. I have it on the low hot setting. It's just gonna dry so I can put the Mod Podge on. Saturday, probably eight thirty ish, right? Because that's seven thirty Jen's time. Probably about what we'll do. Um, it's very likely that and we'll do something fun. I'm going to let these sit for another minute while I do the napkins and then we'll see where we are with those. If anyone has any suggestions, throw them out there. The problem with Jen and I is we get going. And we start, we think of like 3,000 ideas and we never decide on one. 
Yeah, so we, t we, we come up with like a million good ideas and then we just don't pick one. Yeah, I won't. It wasn't getting too hot, Juanita, but thank you so much because you know me, I be talking and I burn myself. <laughs> I showed you guys that burn I had from the, the craft heat gun. I don't know if you can see it. It's so small. Um, <laughs> so we're okay we are planning something in the fall where we have some for you guys like a craft along but we are gonna have an official planning meeting for that and that's because if we're just yeah it's gonna take us a little time to coordinate where did i get this someone asked where i got but we um yeah it can get hot hold on where did i get these napkins okay it's a really great question this might have came from wally world and this might have come from hobby lobby if we're being but if we're being 100 percent honest i couldn't tell you but um I do really like them both. Okay, I'm going to leave it big until I figure out. Um, yeah, I can't. I th so I think I got this one a long time ago. I mean, I think I've had this one for a while. And I've just not used it yet. And this one, I mean, obviously I was out and I picked it up. Okay, I had an idea to make a big jar. And then I, clearly I didn't get to it. And then I thought, you know what? This would be really cute. With a little jar, because that big print. But I like both of these napkins. Because you get a full napkin. Like, see, if you, you get four flags. Um... And the same with this. Sometimes you get the printed napkins and you only get a fraction, right? But this is just so pretty. Like you do so many things with it. Okay. Where are we with this? It's still wet. Lottie. Okay. So I don't think... That those came from the Dollar Tree. Are they the same? Let's see. So, okay. If you have never deca... If you have never decoupaged... Let me know in the comments. Like, if you have decoupage, tell me yes. And if you haven't, tell me no. That'll help me um, while we're doing this. I got to get that quiet glue gun or heat gun thing. That's another thing on the list. Jen, you've never nap. nap, nap come on, girl. Yes, yes. Never. It's kind of like, I usually iron it on, but you can't really iron onto this. That's true. Denise has, okay. Is Jen the only no? Mm. Anita's done lots. Cindy is never with napkins. Um, Patty has done it. So I'm not going to iron this one because you can't. We're going to start this one first. Well, I better do this first. So, oh, we'd love to see the pumpkins. Dana says... 
she has to show pumpkins from last year. She did, she did them with napkins, and you also have used tissue paper, too. <sighs> Try not to yawn. Yes, show us that. Did anyone see the hot mess of things that Joe is organizing for me today? Like, I still have a pumpkin sitting right there that I got for last year and never made. But I was thinking about doing a monogram pumpkin, but I would love to see the decoupage pumpkin because that would be so fun. Okay, I'm trying to use that. But Denise, she had that spit method. Jen. <laughs> it's not hard. I'm making it look very difficult right now. So you just have to take it down to single ply. Were you, were you guys on that live when I was like preaching and preaching about making sure you get down to single ply? And I took it down to what I thought was single ply and I ironed it on and then the top came off and I was like, well, clearly I was not at single ply. Okay, so this is what I do. I just rip the thing in the corner. I checked a Mod Podge book out from the library. Seriously, I checked it out because I wanted to see what was in there. And, okay. I really did do that. And um, they have, I have some, oh. <gasps> Yes. Okay, that is awesome. Juanita, that the whole thing, like for a big piece of wood, that would be really cool. Um, yeah, that was one of my better moments. Um, they have like Mod Podge, it's just a whole book on Mod Podging. They have a gazillion products. They have something called dimensional. I don't know. Has anyone ever used a dimensional? I'm going to get that stuff. I got some really good ideas for tier trays reading that book. Um, like there's so, I mean, okay. So I just have to figure out how much of this I need. Oh, interesting. Okay, so it goes about right to there. Okay, so, um, yeah, I got the book out, and it's written by Mod Podge, the company, Plaid, who makes Mod Podge, right? And, and the whole thing, they, sh they should have, the one part is, like, all of their products. Like, okay, Mod Podge is the most interesting thing when you start thinking about it, because... So one part is all their products. And then, so it goes to about here. So if I cut it off right there, we're going to be good. I just don't want to have to cut a whole bunch off afterward. Yep. But um, I'm, I'm really not like the, the decoupage expert. I do it, but I'm not like... So... There are so many different ways to use this stuff. Legitimate, like I was, my mind's blown away. I might have to buy a copy of that book because it's so good. And it shows you like, I mean, okay. A lot of the stuff in there, I probably wouldn't craft myself, but, um, but I want to be a, um, I, Aaron, just tell me how you did that. I want to be an ambassador too. But, um, okay, so now this is the part. We'll see if I can do it right. 
That is cool, Jen. Yeah, you can. I think you can do it on plastic. You just have to paint it. Like you can Mod Podge on seriously anything. I think. So Denise said she even Mod Podged um, the risers on her stairs, which I'm thinking about trying in our garage because when I ever get around to painting the stairs, if I ever paint them, I don't know because they're. I don't know if Joe want me to paint them. Um, but our neighbor painted hers and they look really great. And so. Okay. Basically, let's see if I can do this. So this is the plastic wrap. And then you take this and you line it up the best you can. No. God. Um, And the reason that you use this is because I, at least my friend Denise, when she taught me how to do it, the crafty DIYer, um, because I'd always done the iron on method just because I usually do this on wood, but she said that this stops it from ripping. And if you use your hands, you can rip it. Um, and I think that that's what she said was like, and she said, you still get some wrinkles, but I think that looks pretty cute. And then I'm just going to push this in here. So yeah, the but the book shows like how to how to um, mod like decoupage just about anything, and then they have so many really cool products. So I think I was thinking about setting it in the tray like this, right? So I'm gonna cover this part up. So see, and now I'm gonna just I'm gonna turn this upside down to dry for a minute while we do the other one. See, these little projects are fun and quick, and I think that they're a great complement to the longer ones because you get, um, you know, sometimes finishing as quickly as good. But, yeah, so, like, some of the things that I saw in there, and this was, so someone took, like, does anyone remember the old, like, bifold? Gail! Girl, I'm crafting something that is not a wood cutout, and you're not here. I noticed it. I noticed it. Every time she's like, what about, like, something that's, that, like, you know, it's just, like, a bonus, an extra. You know what I mean? She's so funny. And here I am, and she's, um... Okay, I need to touch this up because I'm not going to be happy about it. This is where I stuck my big fat finger. Um, but they took, does anybody, those, those bifold closet doors, do you know what I'm talking about? That you can like push in and out. Do you know what I'm talking you know, you pull them and they like slide in and then, and they have like a recess and a panel. Um, anyway, they paint, they took, took them off the hinges, took the tops off. So those little like thingamahoochers that hold it up in the top, they repainted the doors and then they decoupaged the panels. And they used them as a room divider and they looked outstanding. I mean, seriously outstanding. Hold on. I'm going to fall off my stool. Woo! That would be fun. And of course, Jen would be here to see it. I did not fall off the stool, but I thought I might. Um, so. 
so someone asked, sorry, I'm not seeing all of this stuff. I did. I thought I was going to go head first over, over the side. Oh, I am. I am the, the epitome of grace. I am the epitome of grace. Okay. Um, thingamahoochers. Yes, they're thingamahoochers. Those doors. So anyway, let's see. Let me fit, let's see if I can do this again. And I did. So the problem with this is that once you use it, it's got glue on it, and you. I, I don't really care to reuse it. If somebody has done it and found a way to reuse it. Okay, I'll tell you guys a story since Jim brought it up. So, we were in in Texas. And this is a true story. So, we were in, it was when I was in Dallas. This is a true story. And I couldn't make this up. So, legitimately, we're in Dallas. And she comes and we, we we're hanging out at the hotel. And I got upgraded because I'm a Marriott Bonvoy member. When I checked in, they automatically upgraded me to this swanky room. It was bigger than my first house, okay? So, Jen, I sent Jen a video of the room, and she's just like, well, I'm just going to, like, I'm just going to come and hang out all day. <laughs> I'm going to sleep there. I mean, there was so much room. And so, we're doing a live, and we're just chatting with people. And all of a sudden, I looked down, and I realized, like, like my shirt is like showing, not that there's a lot of goods to show, but my shirt is showing the goods. And I'm like, oh my. So anyway, that was a lot of fun. That was one of my prouder moments. <sighs> yeah. I did. I really did. It was, um, it was relatively inappropriate. But <laughs> yes. And I'm not sure. So we had a couple cameras. Like her camera was up and my camera was up. And like in one angle, I don't really think you could see it. Maybe. I don't know. That's my excuse. And the other angle, like you could. And so. <laughs> I know. And so we were talking about our most embarrassing moments at dinner that night with my business group, my, my mastermind. And I didn't, I don't, I don't know if, anyway, I think so after that we have like a, we have a, like a mastermind, like serious business thread. And then we had another thread where we were just joking, cutting up. And I was like, well, this is mine. And screen shot it to everybody. Like here's, this was it. Not that there is much there. to a show, but I did. Yes. Give them something to talk about. Sonia. Yes. First it's chalk paint. And then after the chalk paint dries, we put a layer of Mod Podge. She's usually laughing at what I did. Generally it's something. <laughs> Generally it's me. Generally it's me. Yeah, I did use chalk paint first, and then I've got Mod Podge over it. Okay, so let's let's try this and see where we shake up. I think it's going to be about the same, but I didn't cut it this time, but that's okay. I was talking. I know, usually I do something. Or like Jen's talking, like for a long time, and I'm over here going, what? <laughs> The jars. Okay. I missed the jar question. These are spice jars. So when my spice jars were empty, I just washed them out and I took the, I took the, um, it's right. I'll show you guys how you do this. It's no big deal. We're just going to roll it around. 
and get it as straight as possible. Um, so I, I washed them out and then I scraped the labels off with, um, hold on. Here, that's just going to be janky, but we're just going to go with it. Um, scrape the, the labels off with, um, I scraped the labels off with a razor blade, a box knife, and then I used, um, what is that stuff called? Goo Gone. But Juanita was saying that if you um, have lemon oil, like a lemon essential oil, that will take it off. Okay, so I didn't cut this one, but it's not a big deal because I'm just going to... Do this. Watch. It's going to be a cheater. So, yeah. Um, you could take any glass from the Dollar Tree and do it. A mason jar. Um, I was just... I generally like to think of ways to be thrifty and fun and fun and thrifty just generally kind of try and find ways to kind of save money or use what I already have um you know crafters tend to be frugal and this is one way to do it you could do it with plastic I I would probably just put something heavy in the bottom it's really not working very well I know Denise does like the wet method and she just kind of pu pulls it apart. Oh, God help me. I was just jabbering too much. Sometimes that happens. I don't like my cut. Okay, there we go. Okay. So yeah, and then you can save the other pieces and make something else later, right? I once confessed that I threw away my scraps and no one was happy about that. They were like, Amy, you've got to save the scraps. I'm like, but what do I do with them? Like after I have so many scraps, scraps, it starts to stress me out and I don't know what to do with them. And then they said I needed to practice mixed media journaling. So. Heat guns are good to use. Okay. Yeah, because you probably can melt that adhesive right off, right? Hey, Amy, I got my um, wax melt box today. Super cute Happy Meal sticker on the outside. I love Happy Meal stickers. I put Happy Meal stickers on my stuff. Yes, Denise from Crafty DIYer. But she's been, so Denise has been like, look, you guys, this is the real deal. Denise, if you go watch her. She's like a polished decoupager, right? And you're getting like somebody who's super, super experienced and super fabulous at this. And this is, this is what is really going to happen when you decoupage. You're going to be like, hmm, I might try the wet paintbrush method. You're going to look very similar to me. And so if you watch me do it, you'll, you, you'll be like, hey, I'm not really so bad at this. <laughs> oh. So, uh, Lisa, I don't know if you are around when, um, when Denise and I did a live together a while ago, she's so sweet and she came on and she makes these like mason jars and she decoupages them and teaches people how to, um, you know, you can use them for flowers or as an arrangement or whatever. And she taught me how to do it on the live. And she, I mean, she's just so, she's done so many of them. So like she used to like make mason jars and put bling on them and then, you know, not make the mason jar, but decoupage them. And then she sells them or she used to sell them. I still think that when people, when she makes one on a live, people message her and want to buy them. So.
So she's a lot of fun. Hey, Jessica, how are you? So you guys, I haven't, so Jingle and Mingle, um, that Jessica is going to be part of that. Um, Amy from Wix Wax Candle is, it's two days. If you haven't, I, I can't think of the URL off the top of my head. But basically, it's a two-day get a jump start on your Christmas event. And yeah. it's a two-day get a jump start on your Christmas event. And Jessica's going to do like, a, oh my gosh, I'm like, I am in love with this. Look how pretty that is. That, that would be the front for me. Look how pretty that is. You've got some on the top and some on the bottom. I could have also centered it so they were in the middle, but look how pretty that's going to look with flowers. Ah, here we go. Thank you. So here is the link. So there's going to be crafting. There's going to be, like, Jessica's going to be doing, like, how to get healthy. I think specifically you're working on belly fat or something. Tell us, what are you doing? I think that's what I remember. Um, I'm going to be doing the snowman kits. Yay. So I've only, I know, I gave you guys a head start because <laughs> there's a lot of people in that group and I haven't, I need to post mine in there, but I gave my, I gave some, the, the Joyful Crafting Club a little jump on that. I'm going to get the rest of it over there tonight or tomorrow. They're super cute. Body weight exercises. Okay. Yes. And that's super, super important, especially for all of us hitting that perimenopause, menopause, postmenopause area of our life because, and I'm there, we will not talk details. I think I'm, I'm like perimenopause perimenopausal so you know we start to lose bone mass we start to lose muscle we start to shrink and if we do those great things that keep our body healthy then um you know we're active long you know we have a better better chance of being healthy and living longer And I hate to exercise. Let's just be honest. I hate it. I've never liked it because I was overweight most of my life. And I only worked out because someone told me I was overweight. It's not the word they use. But, and I had to. And I've never liked to exercise because I've never gotten over that. Okay. Cute. I'm going to seal it with the decor wax. Or the deco. Not the decor wax, but the other stuff. Um, I think I'm going to use Ultramat. Out of that. I'm gonna use the satin because I have the most satin. So, yeah, I think like that's one of the reasons why I've never really enjoyed exercise. I know that's the reason, and I need Amy from Wix Wax Candle. She and I were talking about this. Like, I need to get to a point in my life. I need to get my head to a place where this is dark clear and satin. Um, oh, it was my mom, Lisa. <laughs> it was not people, it was my mother. Um, so, um, I just never, so anyway, all that to say, like, it has been a struggle my whole life. And I know, like, now that I'm hitting this weird peri, peri, I'll post a picture. I keep saying I'll post a picture and I never do, but I'll post a picture because, like, I showed the ladies at Mastermind, you know, um, cause they didn't, they were like, no, I was like, yeah, here, this is me. My, like my twenties. Um, but like, yeah, nobody understands what it's like until you're there, but I need to get to like, and I'll go through phases where I do really well at exercising and then I quit and 
I've just never been able to make myself be consistent at it. I don't enjoy it. And Jessica, though, is good at making it simple. And she's good at making you feel successful at it. I did her donkey kick exercise. And I did feel like I looked better. I felt better about myself just doing the exercise. So I just sealed this. I'm going to let it dry. And then we're going to figure out how to cover up the top. Yes. Oh, my. See? So you get it. I So I quit getting on the scale at 185. That's when I quit getting on the scale, girl. I was over 185, and I, I just quit getting on the scale. I was like, I'm done with it not getting back on and then i eventually made some big changes and i mean you know like the world treats you differently every i mean it just so you know what i'm happy i'm not there and i'm encouraging everyone to find something i do walk the dogs which i enjoy a lot but i know now that i'm at this like this weird peri i mean Okay, when I was 40, I'm like, okay, I'm going to get real. Okay, before I turned, well, I was pregnant at 40. So I had Gabe and I was like, I'm going to get like in really good shape by the time I'm 45. Well, 45 came and went, uh, came and went. And now I'm 47. And I'm like, okay, I've got to get myself in better shape before I turn 50, you know? And Jessica does, she does the exercises, like the donkey kicks I did with her. It was like they were, oh my God. They were simple. They were, it was all stuff that you could do without feeling, um, I'm past the age where I can go in and do like a 45 minute crazy cardio workout when I haven't done one for a long, long time. I need like baby steps. And that's what I'm trying to say. Like she does her workouts and baby steps. And that's what I need. I need someone to kind of be like, okay, start here and then add this on and then add this on and then add this on so she starts out with like i don't know six donkey kicks or something and then by the end of the month you work yourself up to two sets of two sets of 40 or something like that ah uh, sonia it's hard i know it's it's and just getting it done, it's hard, you know, getting that. It took me, it, 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 I still work on it on a regular basis. I mean, it's something that I've never been able to not, like, you can ask Joe, there's just certain things I won't eat. Um, I try and like, Eat healthy, set a good example for the kids, that kind of stuff. Okay, so I don't, I need to cover this. And Denise did it with ribbon, but I don't have a lot of great ribbon options. Oh, look, Kim said she's painting wood cutouts for. That's cute. I kind of think I need burlap though, because this is gonna, this would be cute in a bow on the top. Hold on. Um, Kim, that's super cute. 20 would cut out. I'm just looking for ribbon. I don't know if I have anything. I wonder if I can trim this. I'm back. Um, Kim, that's really sweet. Jute. Oh, Mary Beth. Smart girl. Jute. Oh, my gosh. That is a great idea. Yes. That is the best idea. That is such a great idea. Yes. Why did I not think about the jute? Okay. I always use jute. Like I, I use jute for everything. 
My brain's not working tonight. Let's do this. A raffia. Yeah, twine. I have raffia too. Let's see what that'll look like. I got a lot of that. Oh, this would look. Look at these colors. You guys are so smart. Look how good that looks together. So sweet, Kim. I always plan on making, um, you guys are so smart. I think this is the right size. Yeah. Um, I always plan on making the kids, um, sports teams like ornaments with their name and number on it and they never get around to it. I, and I even, I mean, every time I ask, <laughs> I asked for a list of the t of the the names with their jersey numbers. I mean, and then I do nothing. Like the coach must think I just want to learn the kids' names. That's so bad. I can't. It's just the truth. Okay, I'm gonna just I'm just gonna glue this here. I'm gonna wrap it around and see what we shake out. Let's try that. The sure bonder glue gun. Congratulations to them, Kim. That is a big deal too. Let's see how this looks when it covers the ridges. That's a big deal. You know, little Gabe, my my seven year old, he just turned seven in May, and um, he lost his first tooth today. He has been dying to lose a tooth, and he finally lost one, and he is so excited. I mean, he is so excited. So, like, my thought with these, though, is to put, like, faux flowers in them or something, right? He's watched his older brothers lose all their teeth. And he's just never, he's never lost one. And he finally did. I have these cute little farmhouse style tooth fairy pillows. How do we get on this subject? Um, that I can put the day that they write the day that they lost the tooth with their, um, with a, like a fabric Sharpie. Okay, this was a great idea. You guys are so smart. <laughs> okay why don't you guys guess this will be a fun one how much okay put two things in the comments how much did you get when you were a kid for the tooth fairy and then how much do you think that the tooth fairy pays now let's see how close you guys can get to what is going on now I got, I'll tell you what I got. I got a quarter and that was a big deal to get that quarter. I got a quarter. So. I got a quarter too, Tammy. That's what I got. How much do you think they got now? How much do you think that people get now? You think now it's probably $2. 25 cents and $20. Cassie says that. 50 cents. Dana, you got 50 cents? Girl, I want to live at your house. <laughs> Brenda, what do you guys do at your house? What is it? How much does the Tooth Fairy give in your house? So I got a quarter. Two, she's thinking, Kim Harwood's thinking two bucks. Kim Carroll says when she got a penny, but most of the time it was a dime. The first one is 20, but most are saying one to two dollars. Twenty-five cents. 
Brenda, they get twenty dollars, or they can pick something out. Girl, okay, we give our kids. They get five bucks, and that was Joe. I was gonna give him a dollar, and like, it's a tooth. It's gonna fall out if you want. But Joe, Joe did the five, which I think is kind of exorbitant for for a tooth. And then, and then you know my kiddo Nate that has special needs. He was, um, the last time he, he lost a tooth, he was confident he was going to get Pokemon cards. He was like, I know. And he was like, had his heart set on it. Like he went to bed early. I mean, he was like, I'm going to get $5 is a lot. Oh, that's your ex. <laughs> I think, I think you meant that to be funny. Um, I think $5 is a lot, right? So I know, but I make them, I, but then mom comes in and makes them put half of it in the bank. <laughs> but he was convinced he's, he's going to get Pokemon cards. And, um, and so we happen to have some extra Pokemon cards that he didn't know about and he got Pokemon cards. But I mean, he's got, it's kind of a necessity to avoid a meltdown if if we want to all be honest about that one. He has um he has a variety he has autism and a variety of other challenges. He's a great kid. Hey Angie, we're talking about the lost tooth. We're talking about the lost tooth. Gabe lost a tooth. So um okay that's really cute i have too much glue right there i need to cover that up i'm gonna cut this okay oh i cut that in the front that's all right see how cute that is that's really cute it's a little sloppy on the top i think a buck is good I got the, the glue's a little sloppy on the top, but let's do this. I think a buck is good. Joe and Joe came up with five. The mom makes them put half in the bank and then they cry. No, 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 we're not putting half in the bank. I think my dad made me. Look how cute that is. You can set it like that and you can see both parts. That is really cute. Love this one. Very cute. So that could go. This is, you know, so the last patriotic craft of the season. So. I have this. Oh my gosh. I was thinking about putting this, maybe a row of this and then covering the top with a jute, like a little lace. Just depends if you're into to lace. I don't know if I like that or if I just want to do the jute. I think I'm going to try the lace just to give it another look. We'll see how it comes out. Um, oh, the raffia. That's right, Juanita. Thank you. My brain. Um, so. Yes, I have all the teeth. Like, what am I supposed to do with them? I have all of them. What do you do with them? I wonder if I can do this and then the raffia. I kind of want to see. I don't know. Yeah, that is a fun little combo. The lace and the raffia. You have to like lace. I know I used some on a Valentine's tray and some people were like, oh, I don't like that at all. Not in the JCC, not in the Joyful Crafting Club, but um, just they're like, oh, I'm not crazy about that ribbon. But I like the lace ribbon. I think it's lots of fun, but it depends what you like. Um,
Um, so, okay. This is why you need a Sherbond or glue gun. I'm just saying. This is why I like to, to gift to them. Kim D, are you still here? Did you get yours yet? Okay. Yeah, I like that. Let's see if I can get it to lay right. It's from it's from the Dollar Treat. The lace is from the Dollar Treat. I like it. I do like like just a, just a different texture. So Angie is is in our Voxer thread, like me, Jennifer, the group that went to um, Arkansas. But Angie lives in Canada, so she didn't go to Arkansas. And obviously, oh no, I didn't go to Arkansas. Next time, but I don't know where we're gonna go. I love the I love the colors in this napkin. We're gonna have to do something else with this napkin. I have some ideas. I should have bought like twelve packs of them. You do that, like you go and you find something you really love, and then you just don't ever go back to buy a whole bunch of them. But I should have because they would have been great in a box. Okay, I'm going to cut this. Okay. You probably do because didn't you just get banned from the Dollar Tree? <laughs> True confession time. <laughs> Uh, Tammy said she can't go back to the Dollar Tree because she, she it was told she spent too much money there. <laughs> it is really cute, right? It's just another, another touch. And let's try to get the raffia on top and see what it looks like. Um, I know I, Joe, when he was organizing my stuff from the Dollar Tree, because we're you know, I pull it all out, and he has it all like grouped. But he's like, okay, I think that this is how this it makes sense to organize like these particular supplies, right? And I was, and I said, yeah, you know. So he's going on and on, showing me what he's put together. And Joe is really good at that kind of stuff. Like he's good at like Joe's good at getting focused and getting things done, right? And he doesn't really like. I'll stop and think about things, and I'll be like, oh, and um. But Joe's really good at just getting it done, right? He he doesn't, like, I would probably stop in the middle of the organizing and figure out what I could craft with something, right? But Joe just keeps going. So all that to say, he's almost to the point where he thinks he's done and he's got it all grouped and organized. And I'm like, well, wait, I have a few more bins. <laughs> and he just looks at me. And he's, he's like, I just, I can't. I just can't say anything. He's like, what am I going to say? <laughs> yeah, that extra quarter. It's just. I was there. It had to have been last year. You know, it was it was a quite a while after they rolled out the extra quarter. And um, the poor lady in front of me bought a bunch of stuff. I mean, she had a lot of stuff and she went to pay and she was like. That's not the right price. I didn't have that many items. And so the guy's looking and he's looking and trying to help her out, you know, and figure out. And she was starting to get really angry. And then he realized that, that she didn't know that it was now the dollar twenty-five treat and not the dollar treat anymore. And and um and she was so angry with him. I mean, there were signs all over the store that said dollar 25 and she was so mad at this poor guy that was working at the register. And I'm like, first of all, like they don't the dollar tree people don't make any money. You guys the raffia was a great idea. Who thought of that? 
Hey, Tammy W. I'm glad you hopped on. We're just making some, look, we made this. How cute is this? It's like a little jar to like put on your tear tray with tchotchke stuff in it. From a spice jar. And we're just finishing this one up. And, um, I mean, that poor guy. So you do that to him. I know. It's like, I think, well, I think, what am I going to what am I going to do with this? Maybe I should have this. You know, and I just think and think and think. I don't think I want a bow on the top of this. I think I just want it to like stop in the back when I get around to the back row. Because this is why the Sherbonder glue gun is the best thing for these little crafting things. Yeah, and you feel bad for, you know, like you feel bad that, you know, they're probably, you know, really on a fixed income and needing to, you know, but at the same time, like the port, the Dollar Tree people don't you know, they don't, they just work there. And like, there's some that are like staffed really, really well, right? And then finally go through cycles of being able to keep employees and they usually have a few people that do everything you know they they cashier they they stock the shelves the new one that opened by my house was like really really well like stocked and organized when they opened but now they've lost some people and i went in the last time i was there they just had like boxes of stuff stacked everywhere that needed to be and the shelves were empty and like you can't even turn your inventory over if it's in a box oh no tammy Oh gosh, Tammy. I am so if you don't know, Tammy W's sister had a brain tumor and she has been um they had it removed though, right? I know she you went and they removed the tumor, but then they sent it out and they were waiting to find out what's what what the deal was with the tumor. And I guess you found out that it's aggressive. So Tammy was staying there taking care of her sister away from her home and um she's got to start so is it has it metastasized or are they just saying it's just they've removed it and it's aggressive so that they want do you know we're definitely absolutely going to pray for her tammy i mean her and you and your whole family i'm so sorry i was really hoping it was benign I really was. Oh, it's just not any fun. My mother-in-law had cancer. She had um, non-Hodgkin's lymphoma. And she was in her mission most of the time that Joe and I were married. And then when I started having kids, it seemed like every time I had a kid, she'd go out of remission and she'd have to go back through treatment. So I told her I'm going to stop having kids and that should fix the problem. Well, um, the year we moved to Ohio, she got really sick and, and she called Joe and said it took her three days to unload the dishwasher. She was just too tired to do it. Um, and I said, Joe, you need to get on a plane. Like something's not right. And so he went down and he called me right away. He was like, yeah, well, I've got to get her into the doctor, you know, and they took her to the doctor and it was just, it was hard. She had two weeks. And so the kids and I drove down, the kids and I were almost to Florida and we were like two hours from her house when, um, Joe said, you know, that they got the report from the doctor that she had two weeks and there was, there were no more treatments. And I, I, it, it's just, Timmy, it's just really hard. But I, 
and pray for your sister because it's a different it is a different kind of um cancer right like betty's was different and she'd been through treatments for 20 some years that's my mother-in-law but they're going to do radiation to see if they can stop but it could come back she had leukemia okay well i hope i'm praying that like this this gets her to a healthy place right Yeah, it's a hard one. We're definitely praying for you, girl. Definitely. We want you to keep us updated and let us know what we can do for you. Absolutely. Absolutely. Um, yeah. Um, I have an idea. I just... So... She's only 57. Oh my gosh. Girl. We're praying for all of you guys. Definitely praying for you. Um, yeah. I said so. Deanna hopped in. Deanna. We took spice jars and made them into fun little jars. Remember the jars that I had? Um, I'm switching gears not to take away from, from Tammy at all. Um, Tammy, I, I want to know your t-shirt size. Will you text me your t-shirt size? Like DM me your t-shirt size. Um, just DM me your t-shirt size. Um, I think you get Cotton Chaos's t-shirts, but I could ask them, but just, will you send me your t-shirt size? Um, I really appreciate it. Um, cause I have an idea. Anyway, um, we're going to keep it and Tammy's going to keep us updated. Are you going back? Tammy, tell us if you're going back. Why I'm telling Deanna what we made. Um, are you going back to stay with your sister again? Or are you going to stay at home? Because I know she lives by herself. Yes. That's right. You have our whole community. And and the JCC too. Like post in there so they can pray for you. Because you, you have all of us around you. Um. Jen, your mom has MS and had to go into a nursing home this week. You didn't even tell me. I am so sorry. Holy moly. And lots of prayers for her too and for you. Girl, so we made... Oh, Juanita, thank you. Holy moly, we all need it. So, <sighs> yeah. You just found out. Thank you for the sweet prayers. Extra large. Okay. Thank you, Tammy. Um, we made little jars. We took some spice jars and we upcycled them with napkins. We started with just some glass spice jars that I saved. Well, hi, Gracie. Gracie came down to see us. Um, I used a, this napkin and this napkin. And I just want to give you guys something else to think about for your tear tray. Something to accessorize it with when your spice jars go empty. You can do this with plastic too. Just because um, this can go in your jar and you can, your, your um, tear tray and you can put flowers. You could put sticks, straws, whatever. And then here's this one. 
that's what we made tonight. Ended up in a prayer session. I do just want to say, you know, Father God, just be with Tammy and with Jen right now. Like they're having a really hard time. And um, it's hard to see the people that you love suffer and go through big changes. But God, we know you're bigger than those um, challenges. And God, we know that your your plan reigns supreme, and we know that you love all of your children, and that um, you have a plan for them. And so, God, we just ask you to be with Jen and with Tammy, and with their family members who are struggling, and just um, show them that you just let them know that you're there, and that you make all crooked lines straight. You know, God has always made all crooked lines straight in my life. Like, and sometimes like, I just can't see like, why is it going this way and that way? And we can get into a whole long thing about it. Like way back in 20, 2008, when Joe and I got married, um, he started traveling all the time. So I started doing food blogging because I had nothing else to do. So I started baking because I couldn't eat wheat. And I, so I started baking and then I started blogging just to like fill up my time. And then my food blog took off and I wrote a cookbook and um, I was doing recipe development and I wrote for magazines and, and I worked for big companies and like Hershey's, like Hershey's filmed at my house they flew me out there and then Nate started to have all, all of these health struggles and I had to quit. And then we started the construction company because we needed to stay in Dallas because Joe's the guy who owned Joe's company killed himself. Long story there. But um, we prayed about it and we knew we needed to keep Nate with all of his doctors because he had like a long list of specialists. So we started the construction company and it wasn't the plan at the time. But then I started working for the construction company. I learned everything there was and not that I really wanted to do it, but I needed to because we started it on our savings. And um, so we did that. And when I got really good at that, we decided to homeschool the kids because Nate was really struggling a lot of, so then that changed. And so then I'm at home homeschooling the kids. So, I've, so it's like every time I got good at something, I had to quit. And so, um, and it was like, like my path just, and you never knew. Right. And then we're in Texas. We love Texas. And we decided to move to Ohio to be, to be closer to family. And then I realized like, you know, being closer to family is not really all it's cracked up to be because I think that they really don't understand what it's like to have a kid that has special needs. And um, like they don't understand, like we just can't do all of the things all the time and that there's certain things we just can't do. Like when you have a kid who struggles like you just can't. And so that's been hard. But I know like here I am doing this. And um, I love what I do now. And I wouldn't be here now with you today if all the other hard things before wouldn't have happened. And I guess that's why I say like God takes whatever you're going through at the time and he uses it and he transforms it, you know. And if I wouldn't have learned all the online stuff all those years ago, I wouldn't be able to do what I'm doing now so quickly, you know. If I wouldn't have learned all the bookkeeping and how to read PL and how to do all of those things, you know, I wouldn't be where I am. And, um, Timmy, I'll tell you. So, so for a long time, um, we were in Texas and we had Nate and it was never really a good time to travel because Joe was on the road 90% of the time, but I was always like, we have to go see your mom. And we, there were so many times we'd have like a vacation plan, just us, the five of us somewhere. And I would be like, no, we need to cancel it and go hang out with, Bo we need to go see Bobby. And we canceled so many vacations <laughs> and lost so many deposits and went and saw Betty instead. Cause either she wasn't feeling good or something was going on or, you know, and like today we say, we're so glad we did, you know, we are so glad we did. And I think like, um, I think I think sometimes doing the hard thing, like what you just did, like going to stay with her all of that time, you know, 
and showing up and doing the right thing and having a family that'll make those kinds of sacrifices for you is it's like invaluable. It's priceless, you know? Um, and then I'll tell you one more story. So I'm, I'm in this business group um, and a lady joined recently and she, she said she's been in business a long time, but she's never been, posted pictures of herself. She So she posted a picture of herself in the group and she said, you know, I'm old and I feel like I'm not, I'm not going to like have any value because I'm, you know, I think people are going to feel weird about me being old. And I don't know how old she was by the picture. She was probably in her, like in her late sixties or, or so. And, um, and I told her, look, you, you have to go follow this lady, J.E.F., an, an old lady make who makes things. And, and you need to watch her. And, like, you need to, like, see how inspiring it is. Like, she's definitely in her late 70s, I would guess. I don't know how old she is, but I think she's, you know. And here she is online crafting, bringing joy to people and, um, Today she was at a petting zoo, showing people where she was at this petting zoo. I saw some goats. I, I couldn't hang hang out long, but um, like I'm going down that road to tell you guys, like when you show up for other people, and that's what she's doing. Just like Tammy went and showed up for her for her um, sister, you know. When we show up as women and we do whatever that gifting is that we have for people, you know, I can craft, I can like see something and I know exactly how, how to make it. I don't need a tutorial. I don't need, I can just look at it and I'm pretty much can run, you know? Um, I mean, not like not with crochet or knitting, like I need a pattern, like, but you know, I, I can just kind of see things. Like I told you, like in my tear trays, like I can, think about a tear tray and I don't, I can just visualize what colors it should be. You know, um, it's just one of the things I'm really, I have a gifting for that. And so I can show up here and share that with you, you know, but like Tammy was a, she's a, she can go help her sister and you have these gifts. And I was telling this lady, like when we show up and we use our gifts in the world, you inspire other people. Why do we love to watch Jane Fonda and Dolly Parton today? Because they show us, like as women, like we can live our life to the fullest, that life does not stop at 50 or 60, you know, like they are still out there doing it, you know, like Dolly Parton recently did that song with um, Zach Williams, There Was Jesus, you know, and I mean, Jane Fonda, she's still acting and she looks amazing and, and like, they're still living life and I, I guess I, no matter what life throws at you, no matter your age, no matter what hard things are going on, like you, if you still show up and like live your life um, and you do your best, then you bless other people. So Tammy, Tammy says that she always struggled with low self-esteem. Me too. And this is a true story. Um, I really was never, and I told you, I was never, I told Joe, I was just going to quit my business at the end of last year. Like, I'm just going to quit. And like, it's not working. I'm like, nobody likes what I do. I'm not, no, no one's interested in it. No one's really good at it. I mean, no, I must not be good at it. They must not like what I make. Like, I just think I'm going to quit. And I was like, I'm, I'm, I'm going to quit. And he was like, no, you can't quit. And I had, had on the fly asked Sarah Williams to be in her mastermind just before this. And um, I was like, and then I didn't hear back from her. I talked to her and then I didn't hear back from her. And, um, and then she finally got back and she said, you know, I think you'd be a great fit if you want to be in the group. And I told Joe, no, I said, I'm going to tell her no. I said, don't belong in there. Like I don't, I just, no one, no one likes my stuff pretty much it all sucks and I'm going to quit. And, um, and he was like, no, like you don't get to quit. Like you don't get to sit down. You're going to go, you're going to show up and you're going to do it. He's like, you deserve to sit there at the table. 
you know, like we started our construction company at my kitchen table, but that's a different thing. That's a totally different thing than going online and talking with people and all of that. I, I, it was very different than food blogging and, and the online world is very different than it was in 2000 and from 2000, I, I quit in 2016. So it's very different, you know? And so when we went in January, we went out to California and I got there and the morning before we were supposed to meet everybody, um, in the morning we were supposed to meet everybody, um, I called Joe. I'm in California. It's like three hours time difference. And, and like, I'm crying. I'm like, I just can't go. I'm like, I just, I can't go in there and sit down at that table with those people. I, I can't do it. And I said, I just, I can't, I can't do it. And he was like, Amy, you're going to go. It's going to, you're going to go. And he told me about when we first started the construction company and he was doing this, all the sales and marketing. I never did that. I did like like the the contracting and the project management and the and the books and blah 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 all the boring stuff but um he did the sales and marketing and i guess he was going to do a deal with go like bid a deal with these guys and he's basically messed it up because he was new and he didn't know what he was doing in that particular area and he was like so you know what we all like have moments where we're we just don't feel confident. And he's like, go in there. So I went in there and I really thought I was going to puke the whole time. And um, I ended up sitting next to Denise, the crafty DIYer on one side and Natalie from the ginger quilter on the other side. And like, we had the best time those two days. And then um, Lo was a couple seats down. Amy Hoadley from Lux West Candle was on the other side of me. Tra uh, other side of the table, Tracy from Print Cut Craft was, you know, across the table from me. And, um, and like, I talk to them on the regular now, you know? Like, so, I think sometimes, like, we have to, to say, hey, this is like how I feel about me, but like the world doesn't see me that way, you know? Um, because Tammy, you're awesome. And you are a quick study girl. Like I saw what you did from your first month in the Joyful Crafting Club to the second. And you killed it. You are a quick study. And I think, I think we, for whatever reason, we carry around this baggage and we think like we're, we're not good enough to show up and, and sit at the table, but we all are like, we all deserve a seat at the table, you know? So we all have amazing stuff, um, and amazing gifts. And, um, you know, it's, um, <laughs> we all have something to give and to contribute. And sometimes, we know and sometimes it just takes takes time to find it but um i don't know i mean i still feel like my my being a mom like i always feel like you know i'm failing as a mom and you know i think we all feel that way sometimes but like i and then at the the second mastermind we went to the one we just went to in texas at the end i started crying because they said i don't know why i'm putting a whole layer of difficulty on our life like with because nate had just recently he was diagnosed with autism a, about a month before i was down there and i was still really struggling with that and so and the fact that like we'd had him tested a couple of times but they missed it and so i think I think we all struggle with it. And I think the problem is we don't talk about it because like when we, when we don't talk about it and we don't say, Hey, guess what? You know, then we just carry it around in our head and we say it to ourselves over and over and it gets really, really big. And then you end up calling your husband from a hotel room in California crying, saying you can't go in the room because you've told yourself over and over that you're just not good enough to do it. When if, if you would have in the beginning said, hey, you know, someone could have said, you know what? No, that's not true. So, I mean, and it's not true. You guys all have these amazing gifts. And um, 
if you haven't figured, you know, and it may not be going live on Facebook and talking to people. It might be, it might be serving at your church. It might be painting. It might be, you know, it may not be business, you know, not everybody, um, should be an entrepreneur you know, that takes a certain kind of insanity, I think to do, you know, but we don't all have the same gifts. And that's why like the places where I don't have a gift, like my husband is brilliant at sales and marketing. And, um, I, that's not my gift. Like that is not my gift to convince people that like, I mean, he convinces people to like, that he can build a 30,000 square foot building. That is not my gifting. You know, um, one of my friends, you know, Jennifer from Canvas Sign Design, excuse me, Jennifer, Jennifer is an amazing artist. So, like she can do stuff on Procreate. And like I, I bought her course and I got to the popsicle lesson and I can't get past the popsicle lesson because I can't make the popsicles look right. You know, I'm good at some other stuff, but like drawing things in Procreate, like that's not, that's not my thing. Not, I mean, I, I'm sure I can learn it if I put enough time and effort into it. She's a great teacher. That's very hard for me to do, you know. Um, it's it's really. And so she has a really good gifting. If I would if I would ask her and say, hey, walk me through this. Why do my popsicles stink? She could she could tell me how to fix it because she says all the time, a lot of times it's just as simple as you're holding your pen wrong. And that's the problem, you know. Um so Juanita is an incredible crafter. She's also very detailed and organized. Hold on, Dana is saying her, her self-esteem has gotten low. You have PTSD and extreme anxiety. You had a student who... <laughs> yeah, so that is a really hard one. That's a really hard one. And um, because, and I'm sorry that happened. I just can't imagine. I taught um, elementary school, middle school, um, middle and elementary school, middle school in downtown Columbus in a really bad area and the gangs and all, all of the things. I mean, but um, I have a kiddo with anxiety and I see his stress and his, so it, it's, God, you're not worthless. I think sometimes we get into those situations where, and I can see what happens with my son. It's like that anxiety just takes him over, you know, getting the right kind of support for that. Right. Because it's a real thing. Um, you know, Gabe got my seven-year-old got hit by a car in the um, soccer parking lot in April. And like when we're in, a, like we were in a, the library parking lot and there's like a grassy space in the middle, like you walk up and there's a, cause they have a drive through at this library where you can pick and pick up and drop off your books. And he saw a car turn in and he like sat down in the grass. He was like, I'm not moving. I'm, I'm not moving. You know, so buddy, it's, you know, he's, he's got some leftover stress, nothing compared to what you're going through, but, um, I'm glad you're here. I'm glad you're in a group that can encourage you. And, um, <clears throat> and that you're able to say it. And I'm sure you're getting some like support because, because it needs like outside support, you know, because that kind of stuff is treatable, but it takes time to work through and it can get triggered by things. And I don't, I don't know all the ins and outs of PTSD, but, um, I, I am so glad you're here because you're in a group of women who you can be you and they're going to love you and support you and encourage you anyway, you know, and take care of you. You're absolutely not worthless. It's just, I think that anxiety takes hold and you just, you just feel like you can't see your way out of it. You know? Um, yeah. I, I know that's what happens with Nate. He has an anxiety disorder and he has gen general anxiety. A lot of kids with apraxia and autism have anxiety and it's it's really hard because something that seems 
really simple for everybody else. Like it puts Nate over the edge because there's something in there that a schedule change, you know, and he just can't, it's too much for him. And then he feels really bad because he, he feels like it shouldn't be too much for him. So girl, we're going to pray for you and we're around you and we we're all here to support you and we care about you. So, um, This was a really good one. We had a good talk tonight, ladies. We had a good, you guys are all awesome. And community is really what it's all about. You know, being in community and being, um, who we are, like just us, we can be us. We don't have to be anybody else. And being able to show up and um, share that common love of crafting, but also passion for life and really just lifting up other women, right? Absolutely what it's all about. Sometimes you just have to chat. And yeah, like Juanita said, sometimes you just have to like talk it out. Yeah, the anxiety is a real thing. So I love y'all. I am... Um, I'm going to get some more. I drank all my water. I'm going to get some water. I'm going to hop off to bed. Oh, let me grab some names. Let me grab some more names. And then um, I'll draw names. I'm going to, um, I think I'm going to draw four. We've got a lot of names. And I'm going to do a napkin bundle this month too. So, yes. Um, okay, Tammy R. Okay, that's good. Dana Taylor, I'm glad. Yes, I'm glad you're able to talk about it too because you know what? I think sometimes when you talk about it, it doesn't have that power over you. I'm putting your name in the jar, girl. Because you're like, you know what? This is not, this is, this happened, but it's not happening right now, you know? Um, Tammy W., Juanita. And Kim C. All right, you're all going in the jar. Yes. And this is it. Patty C., I'm going to put your name in the jar. <laughs> Do you a riot. Nate, I know Nate would, they would, they would put everyone's name in the jar. He would also invite you all over to our house for a party. And, um, and then when you would show up, he would get nervous and hide. <laughs> um, okay. This is the truth. And we're going to end on this. You guys are also smart. You're beautiful. You're important. You are talented. We love you. You are valued and, um, and you matter. You matter. All right. So you think about that when you go to sleep, have some sweet dreams. Mwah. We love you. And, um, and we'll chat with y'all real soon. Okay. Good night, y'all. Oh, thank you, Kim.